Is there anything better than a parking lot that at night turns into a bad exhibit? Well, not a bad, but like a bad exhibit. You know what I mean? This is what we're going to do today. And sorry, my voice is completely broken. It's gone. It's on holidays in uh, Sicily, I hope at least. Um, <laughs> so you have to bear with me with a bit of cracking voice. I have a cup of tea next to me. I'm just going to have a, a little sound here for you. Ah, this is my little spoon in the cup. And uh, eventually, from now and then, uh, during the voiceover, I have to take a little nip and zip like this, you know? Mm -hmm. Just to keep my voice somewhat working. <laughs> the real-time part was super hard to, to record. I really hope you guys are not too mad about it. Um, there are a couple of reasons why I can't record later. I wanted to, va to wait, but there are some reasons why I couldn't wait, which um, maybe you haven't even, you have already found out uh, by the time this video goes live, but I'm not 100% sure. So, um, who knows? This is going to be very exciting, because this idea just kind of came into my mind once the pack was a couple of days released. Um, so, you know, I made this video where I thought, you know, I have to say that I'm kind of wrong about the pack. And I saw a lot of people doing great stuff, like the lady did a cool little bat cave and Eben obviously did this wonderful kind of um, nocturnal cave thingy in Koali and many other people, like Caesar Creates, did a wonderful realistic kind of bat exhibit kind of... I can't even tell this, was like a bad house or something. Really cool. But, you know, you know Rudy, okay? You know me. And I needed to do something different. And I had something in mind for a whole time, but I was like... How can you bring this in? And and one of these things that I was missing the most from Planet Zoo uh, is something that even older games already had, even Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, uh, even though it was just like minor. But let's go with Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 then. They also had like ducks and stuff and you could even shoot them and then they lost their feathers and kept on flying. Anyways, that was just like a little Easter egg in the game. But just the idea of having... Um, Something in the game that is just part of the game without being part of the game. Just as like kind of ambience, not saying, I mean, Planet Zoo has beautiful ambience, but there is something missing about the ambience. And so what I wanted to create over here is a parking lot that for the first time ever, at least in, in my time building in Planet Zoo, has a certain meaning to it and a certain ambience. And the ambience now obviously is that we have the bad exhibits in here. I tried my very best to hide them as much as possible and I would even say that I completely succeeded at the end of the day. Like, if you show this screenshot or this area to someone at the end of the day, they should not be able to tell that there are three bad exhibits in there. Um, I even tried around with a couple of these enrichment items. It was a little bit of a forth and back here and there, and it just, you know, was quite hard for me to somehow find out the certain things. But it worked, so <clears throat> it just really, really worked out very well. And I really loved how this, this turned out in the end. Now, it obviously, yeah, kind of felt wrong to do this because you wanted to have these more in the zoo. So I still have to figure out how to bring the guests down here without bringing them too much down. Mm, you know, it's, it's like a little bit of a problem because it will be pretty crowded if I don't put anything in between. But then again, I want to have people here. Well, that's mostly my biggest issue at this point. Anyhow, I will leave you alone a little bit with the music to save my voice for the later part of this uh, time lapse, and then I'll be back with you in around five-ish minutes. So enjoy the next couple of minutes of music, and then we talk again.
Alright, so here I am again, and yeah, you can see a lot has changed during the last five minutes, and it's the, the usual thing, once you figure it out uh, which kind of way you want to go, um, things just easily click together, and obviously I did also cut out a couple of things in the background that you guys haven't seen during the build, um, and now it was my turn to clean up certain things, and it just worked out pretty well. Just one thing I want to mention is, uh, this thing is also made as a blueprint, so you can download the parking lot if you want to. Um, I will put it in the in the workshop if I don't forget about uh, doing this <laughs> until this point in time. Uh, but it is really something unique, and I just wanted to have it that way. I tried a server, uh, several things, like having new kind of fence types and new types of doing the nature and you know little things that just came together at the end of the day made it look good and made it look cool this part over here by the way is still one of the issues i have and this is still about the point that i don't know how exactly i'm going to connect this with the zoo like this should be the connection that leads to the entrance and i have to guide this to the backside of the backstage area so i have to do a couple of things to make it separate from the backstage area which will be doable and there, there is a pretty simple way of doing it however i need to f again find a way that there is a reason for people to go there and technically this part over here is obviously still outside of the zoo so you have to first of all go into the zoo to go into habitats now i have to trick this system or like you know i have to use a little trick to make this work um but I feel very confident that this might work. The only, the only caveat about this is that uh, I I have either too many people in here or never actually some people in here. So my idea is to make a separate entrance to the parking lot, which is rather far away from the entrance, and then put a vista point in here somewhere. And uh, also I need to make sure that the pathway is not actually connected to the original pathway where the spawners will be so that the people won't use this to exit the area. Um, so these are a couple of little things I have to figure out at a certain point in the future once the park has grown a little bit but for the moment being uh, this is the way it is. Also is it shocking that the FPS is already below 50, uh, 60 in this park? <laughs> I mean hello what have I done? Uh, but yeah no uh, I think it was just some setting issues I had over there so at the end uh, the time lapse worked out pretty well again. Now yeah with that said we are almost at the end of today's episode. One thing I wanted to uh, note in particular is that the build was super fun and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it a lot because um, many many people ask for a bat cave and many many people ask for bats in general. However, I wanted to do something different and uh, maybe we are going to have a, a bat cave in addition in the future. Who knows if we get some cooler uh, other <laughs> other big exhibit animals, who knows, uh, but we will see. We will see how that turns out. Here's a little gimmick, I should call it, uh, because I drive an EV. I was like, hey, you know what? In this zoo, I want to be one of these person who benefits from that again. Once I do go here, I need kind of my EV charger uh, to get back again, because obviously the range of an EV is not like super crazy. I mean, ours has a super decent range of like uh, 400 or 300, 400 kilometers, depending on how you drive and if you're quick or what the weather does but which is solid um, but sometimes if you go far away for like a day trip it's super convenient to have like a charger somewhere and this is what I did over here put a little put a little nice charger in and uh, as like a little gimmick well that's it I really hope you guys enjoyed this time lapse so far and you could deal with my voice you have to deal with my voice a little bit more now in the real time part um, also the voice has some influence of my English so please uh, please don't hate me for that, but enjoy the real time Rudy now. Uh, hope you guys enjoy looking at the parking lot in real. That's it. Have a good time and cut off. All right, it's a little bit past half 10 over here in Sicily and we are going on to the parking lot, which is now empty. And um, because of that, the bats now have taken over the parking lot. And as you can tell, this is what I wanted to achieve with this build. You can see them flying around, enjoying their time. Uh, just like really cool. I think the vista is really cool from over here with the, oops, um, with like the olive tree on the side and having the having the bats flying around. It's really cool, I guess. Um, before we go up there, there's a little special I haven't shown on stream, I guess, uh, on uh, in the building phase. But if I move all the way down over here, you can see this is the lower area. And I think, you know, this is really cool. One thing I wanted to quickly show you is I hope it's going to fly the loop over here. There you go. Yes, I managed to actually, you know, check out this um, bed over here because 
means that's going to loop the loop around the tree and it's really not hitting the tree too much. That's like a little bit at the beginning as you can see now, but that's about it. Now it's flying wonderfully around the tree as you can tell, wow, it's so quick. And then it's just going to find its way back into the little box over here. I really do like that. I really do love the fact um, how they do the turnaround around the tree. And then obviously we have a lot of uh, bats hanging around here. We have a lot of things over here. Not sure what that dude is doing down here. Where you? I guess because we do not have a quarantine right now. Um, or quarantine that he is moving around. And anyways, we are just running uh, also up here. Just another time checking in on this view. Ah, oh, Justin Jan, I'm so happy. And then let's move up a little bit more. There you go. Oh, just love this vista. It is so cool. I love it. Um, but yeah, so then we also have the upper part of the parking lot. It's going to be continued over here, as you can see, all work in progress. Don't look at that, okay? Uh, it's going to be all over here. It will be like the biggest part of the parking lot but the bats are living in this um you know in this early early stages of it and this is also the part of the park in which the cars have to leave earlier so if you do park over here you have to leave earlier than in the other part of the park because um this is where the bats live and it's kind of a secured area for them so yeah that's that and then we also have this little special over here aev on an ev only parking with a little charging box i might actually do more than one uh, this is kind of the blueprint for it let me just also make it daytime already Ready. so you can see how that looks there you go like this little charger you've got the two plugs to both sides you've got a little cart nfc tag in the middle and you even have on the back side like there is this uh, cable you know thingy and there's also like a, a vent what you need so basically how these boxes would look i just made it a bit more simple as if this would be something for the for the zoo over here um but it's like a you know the charging speed wouldn't be the highest because obviously you would stand here for longer time so you don't need these high speed charging uh but yeah that's that's about it let me just move into oops wrong mode there you go fly over and show you how the parking lot looks in real time uh, uh in, in overview i gotta say that this looks absolutely fantastic it looks a lot, like a lot, a lot better than I expected. Um, I, I had this idea in mind. I didn't know if I can pull it off. And at the end, I was able to pull it off. And I'm super, super excited um, about the fact that it actually worked the way it worked. Um, we have got the bats flying around. It's looking really, really cool with, the, with everything in here. Uh, you know, it's, it just sparks the idea of free flying birds even though it's bats i mean you know come on it's you get the idea and i think this also fits very well in with my video i made that i was wrong about the pack and especially about the exhibits i think they do have a lot of potential um it's just like maybe if they bring in other animals the loops would be nicer because granted the the flying behavior of uh, bats is relatively special um so maybe other birds wouldn't look that choppy. Um, I saw someone who did make a, like a slow-mo of the flying and it looked actually pretty cool. So yeah, maybe that's that. Maybe that's the reason why. But anyhow, that's about the uh, real-time part over here. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me just get a little sip of my tea before I make the outro. I'll make the outro because my voice is already starting to be very heavy. There you go. Now, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. It was a pleasure building this. Um, and yeah, just in general, I really hope that you guys still enjoy this series. I really do love this series. And if you guys want to follow along, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. A lot of people joined us lately. So if you haven't clicked that uh, sub button now, I would really appreciate, uh, appreciate it if you do so. And you will also be able to catch my voice when it's good again, hopefully in a couple of weeks. And yeah. Let's have a look. The next episode is going to be even more special. I know I'm going to lean out myself quite far out of the window, but I grant you the next one is super special. I didn't know if I wanted to do this first or the other one first, but it's going to be very cool. So keep your eyes out for that. If you want to see other stuff I did, click the card to the top right now and now have a good time and goodbye.